So today I'm going to be introducing some new parts. As you can see right here, we have Barrier, Star, Octo, Octo Dash, Stud plus Z, uh, Cupcake, and Unite Dash. It's a bit of a different video where since I have really m some more drivers and other stuff than I can release on base and it feels awkward to release uh, two things on a bay, I'm going to put the mirror into like a short video going over them. First, we have the barrier frame. And as you can see here, it is very clearly a barrier with these chains. Now, once you put it on a bay, then that bay will gain a barrier-like ability, as you can see down here. It's a bit low, so it doesn't work as well as like a barrier on the layer, but as you can see, it still works as a barrier. Next, we have the star driver, which has a five-pointed shape, and the bottom is the same as the assault driver. So it will pretty much act the same, except maybe at the edge, it might pick up a little bit more acceleration. But, but, you see all this empty space here? You can pretty much perfectly fit. Look at how perfect that fits. You can fit some metal right there and it really won't do anything except boost the performance. And this is probably, this weighs a lot. It weighs a lot, a lot for a driver. So it can really up your game when, if you have this on. Then we have the Octo Driver, which is an octagon shape here. And as you can see, there's a very small point protruding out and then layers and layers of larger circles. You could call this a balance type, but pretty much in the stadium, it's basically an attack type. Very, very crazy. Um, probably pretty good life after death. And that's all I have to say about it. Meanwhile, the Octagon Dash Driver has the same shape, but it's bigger, and this bottom point here protrudes much farther out, so it'll act more like a unit type. Uh, originally, I had the same method where you just put the stud with hole inside the thing, but it, it just broke off. So I had to use this uglier looking method instead. But yeah, so we'll move on to the next driver. Then we have stud plus Z F. So basically stud, the zone attachment and it's free spin. So compared to the exceed one, which you can find in the Hyperion burn video, uh, it, it is really fast. So this is toned down a bit. As you can see here, there's two metal linings and here there's only one. So it'll be much more passive when it's on here and when it hits the edge of the metal thing, then it'll go fast, just like zoom. I mean, just like exceed. So overall, it seems like a pretty balanced driver and we'll move on to the next one. Then here we have the Unite Dash driver with this stud of hole and then this very small protrusion of this red thing. Well, you can't even see it. And then we have this rubber tire that can move up and down. Originally, I had a metal uh, washer here, but it, it kind of messed things up a little. So we'll go with this anyway. In this very small red part, it will stay very still. And then out here, it'll move normally, like a normal bay. And then of course, when it gets to the rubber, it just speeds up a ton and obviously loses a lot of stamina in the process. But that's Unite for you. And then finally, we have the Cupcake Driver. As you can see here, it swirls to the top just like a cupcake, which means that it is a pretty sharp point and it will be pretty good for stamina. There's not much else to say. The swirl couldn't be a bit interesting. And yeah, that's it. So those were my extra part releases. If you made it this far into the video, uh, comment down below which ones you think are interesting or could be pretty competitive. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And Lego Bay's out.